The first Pebble Beach race took place in 1950 and was won by future world champion Phil Hill in his XK120. But the races started to get very dangerous indeed. Too many people showed up. And in 1956, there was a ghastly fatality. And accordingly, the races had to be moved from Pebble Beach somewhere else. Well, they went to Laguna Seca, which isn't that far away. But the original roads that the races took place on are still here. And my favorite mark of car, Alfa Romeo, they've loaned me this lovely Stelvio. So it's an excellent machine. Go and have a look at those roads. You know, it's amazing to think that these very roads that we're driving on here, that serve all these rather lovely houses here at Pebble Beach, used to be a racetrack when those six races were run here in the 1950s. And this is exactly where all those heroes of the time came and did their stuff. However, look at all these pine trees. I mean, if you flew off here and hit one of those, it would not be funny, as indeed it wasn't for poor old Ernie McAfee in 1956. Now, I really think if those cars that raced here in the 50s had had anything like the handling I've got in this Alpha today, and the brakes for that matter, all the races would have been infinitely safer. Maybe they would have continued it. Alfa Romeo, of course, used what they learned from those cars in those days to better their street cars, which is precisely, of course, what they do today. This car I'm driving today is the Stelvio. That's Alfa Romeo's first SUV. Very much indeed a performance oriented car. They have put no end of thought into the design and the performance. And of course, it shares the same basic platform as the Julia. It's been a long time coming, but I have to say, very joyful indeed to drive, especially out here on the very self-same roads that they had those Pebble Beach races on way back in the 1950s. Fantastic. How important were these Pebble Beach races? Well, I'll tell you, very. Look at Phil Hill. I mean, he wins here in 1950. He gets himself a 1938 Alfa Romeo 2.9. He races that. He wins races when he goes to Laguna Seca. And he winds up in 1961 as a Formula One driver winning the World Championship. What a joy it is to drive here at Pebble Beach in a wonderful car like this.